Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Brown is eight years his senior. He is five inches taller. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce this Lee. Is the man. Event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, 18 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Matt the Immortal. Oh! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight at in Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Big powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. Big body kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Overhand punch to the head, it doesn't get there. It was telegraphed and it was blocked. Oh. 
Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Brown gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Lands the right hand. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And they separate. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. That's a big hook. Outstanding output on both sides. Punch lands over the top. A oh, little single collar tie there. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Lee's now dealing with a cheat cut. Leg kick. And they separate. And he landed the right hand there. Big head kick lands. up the defense here. Oh, he lands that team. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Round two winding down. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land his knee to the body with relative ease there. And there comes the separation now. Nice kick. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Got the single collar tie. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go change that finish down. Oh, he might be out. Oh, 
lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice Ace plan. Really oh! Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Lee's face would have to be classified as a mess. Cut on his cheek, and it's only getting worse. 20 seconds now remain in the round. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Something. Oh! What a round. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. Beautiful. This one's all you, man. Knock him down, you're gonna knock him down again. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Lee gets hit with a kick. Oh, big left hook there. Lee's uppercut is blocked. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice punch man over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. Lands flush with that right hand. All right, single collar tie now. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. Misses with that punch. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming, you're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Ooh, what a punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Knee to the body. somebody down like that, it's got, it got to be kind of fun to stretch your way back to the stool. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, 
When your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Ready, fight. Ready. Good. Punch over the top. Lands a nice straight punch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. I mean, he's cutting them down the side. Oh! Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. And he continues to work oh. the body here. Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow! And he gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin has held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. And he lands that side kick. Just missed on the front kick there. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. What a performance! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. There he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called to stop this contest at two minutes, four seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Matt the Immortal. Wow. Oh, Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. I mean, I'm heading over there right now.